Because if God wanted you to have it, you have it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Ties. So today I just came on, like right now it's like one o'clock in the morning, but yeah, it is what it is. But um, yeah, I came with a word and that word is Philippians chapter four, verse 13. So let's read, we're gonna start at verse 11. Not that I speak from any personal need for I have learned to be content and self-sufficient through Christ, satisfied to the point where I'm not disturbed or uneasy, regardless of my circumstances. I'm reading from the Amplified Version. I know how to get along and live humbly in difficult times. I also know how to enjoy abundance and live in prosperity. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing life, whether welfare or going hungry, whether having an abundance or being in need. I can do all things which he has called me to do, through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose, I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace. Meaning, be content in every season of your life. You don't have to go out. You don't have to go out and hustle and grind just to live like the world. You don't. Be content with what you have. Because if God wanted you to have it, you have it. That's just it. That's that's the message. Be content. You know what I'm saying? Like every, because according to what the scriptures say, everybody everybody go through seasons, hard seasons. You know what I'm saying? Everybody go through seasons of abundance and seasons of lack. And so, if you're in a season of abundance, you know enjoy you know enjoy yourself you know what i'm saying still be content you know you don't have to go out and grind to get more if you're in the season of lack right now use what you have because whatever god gave you at this moment if it's just a part-time job for like 12 50 hours work that job and be okay with that you know what i'm saying because in another season god is going to amplify and give you more so you don't have to be like, oh, I got to hustle. I got to grind. I got to get it. No, you don't. God didn't say that. So if God wanted you to have something, he would give it to you. And so if he gave you a job that might not be the best job, but it's still a job. It's still making money. Work that job. Do it to the best of your ability. And in another season, God is going to give you more. Okay. So the secret in life is to be content be content be content in everything we're supposed to be grateful and thankful for what we have you know god loves when we be grateful even if we only have a little bit god loves it when we be grateful even when we have a lot god loves when we be grateful because only god gives and takes away so if god has given you something be grateful for it if god has taken something away be grateful because even though he took it away, that means that he's going to replace it with better. God never leaves us empty handed. Never. That's not in the script. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not scripture. God would never leave his people empty handed. If he told them to leave something, he always replaced it with something greater because God is a progressive God and he loves to give. He loves to give. That's just who he is. So in everything, give thanks. In everything, give alms, which means thanks. So in everything, be content with what you have. Because whatever you have now, do it. Do it to the best of your ability. Work with what you got. Like my grandma say, work with what you got. But when God elevates you and he gives you more, be content, be a good steward of it so that he can trust you. Because in the scripture, I, I don't know what scripture, but you can Google it. But it says, do not despise small beginnings. Do not despise small beginnings. Okay, so that's in the Old Testament. Do not despise small beginnings. Okay, so yeah, be content, give alms, give thanks. You know what I'm saying? 
praise God for what you got because in the next season, he's going to give you more. That's a fact. It's in the Bible. In every story, in every book of the Bible, every time God tells somebody to leave something, he gives them, he gives them more. Okay? So, yeah. Praying for you. Love you. And have a great morning. For me right now, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Bye. But, yeah. Have a great morning. Have a great day. I'm doing better than, you know, looking right here than looking over there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have a great day.